weekend, the Junior League of Montgomery's 36th annual holiday market begins. If you haven't started thinking about your Christmas shopping, this may be the perfect time to get things going. A lot of people mark this off on their calendar and go as families. You see mothers, daughters out there shopping. Let's check in now with WSFA 12 News reporter Bethany Davis. She's already there this morning. Bethany, it's never too early to start looking at that list. I mean, Christmas really will be here before you know it. It's only 77 days away, but the Junior League of Montgomery does this every year in October. It turns the multiplex at Crampton Bowl into this Christmas shopping wonderland. This is the Junior League's president, Courtney Curriton Baker, along with Sarah Beth Leverett. This is a lot of fun. This is a great time and a great way to kick off the Christmas season, but it's for a really big purpose. All of this is for the community. Absolutely. So actually this year, the Junior League of Montgomery, through a first like holiday market, was able, was able to put $100,000 back into our river region. So that's through what we call community placement. So community organizations apply for grants and they receive funding and actually volunteer hours from league members. So that is all supported through holiday market, our other fundraisers, and corporate giving. Sarah Beth, what are some of the organizations that benefit directly from holiday market? Um, some of our organizations are Brantwood Children's Home. We're working with AIDS to inmate mothers this year, Maine, as well as Eat South. I know after 36 years, we've seen a lot of direct results. We've seen the impact that holiday market has directly made in this community. What are some examples of how holiday market has has really made an impact. Yeah, absolutely. So it goes back to that community giving. It's the way that the Junior League of Montgomery over its nearly 100 year history has been able to put in $4.5 million back into Montgomery. Um, so it is through the development of other nonprofits. We've been integral in the development of many river region nonprofits that still exist today um, that we're able to partner with and continue on that legacy. Well, it's really starting to look like Christmas in here. We've seen the decorations are going up. Vendors will spend today getting all of their shops set up and ready for shoppers. Today, by the way, is the last day to buy advanced tickets. After today, you'll just have to wait until shopping opens tomorrow to get them at the door. You can shop 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Thursday and Friday and then 9 to 4 on Saturday. All right, Bethany, and those general admission tickets are $10 at the door. Again, you can still get those advanced tickets today. We have more information on how you can get them on our website, WSFA.com.